All right, here we are, 938 Hemingway. It's an end unit, which is nice. This is an all frame, it's block end frame, I take it back. Hi. How are you? Good, I'm just taking a video. Okay. Here we are to the side of the place. Kind of a driveway so that these guys can get into their garages. So you don't have anybody right next to you. There is a swimming pool, which we can go to now, since we are outside. It's a cute community. I guess there's maybe 40 units, maybe 50. Now, Harbor Island, just so you know, has three different fees. One of them is like 180 a year you pay $90 semi-annually then there's the island fee which is I think about 250 a month I'm guessing and then uh, there's the association fee so these roofs are all made of metal which is nice because they're usually last 40 years this one needs a little pressure washing above the garage there. Looks like they replaced two of those panels too. See they don't match the same colors as the others. Place looks very well maintained. Well painted. Could probably use uh, a little bit of uh, Bear Thompson's water seal on the front steps here. Hi Megan. Hi. I'm taking a video. Okay. So here's the entrance. So we're gonna go through and just kind of look. So these are the original floors that came with the unit. They are tongue and groove glue down. Um, very typical of 2001 construction. I thought they were solid oak, but I guess I'm, I'm mistaken. Um, you walk into the dining room when you first come in. Pan around. Ceilings are 10, maybe 10 and a half feet. Living room is off to the side. Now this floor plan's a little different than the ones I've seen, and I think it's because they're interior units versus this one that's in the corner. You do have plantation shutters. You do have a uh, electrical fixture so you can hang a fan in here. And let's see what we have over here. It's the garage, two car. Two car garage got a decent amount of space on the right side. These guys put in some shelving, which is nice. Not much room on the left side, but they went ahead and added shelving above. And then this little thing this is a kind of a cabinet to put the, um, the Fios, fiber electric, and the sprinkler system. And we have a back door. It's got a window so you get some natural light. Oh, and you got a nice storage room. And that's also where they house the water heater and the water softener. So this is a good amount of storage in here, which is nice. Can you refresh my memory on what the three fees are on Harbor Island? Yes, I'll send them to you. Okay. Yeah. And half bath here. Stairs are wood. And then this kind of transitions into the family room and kitchen. Family room's got built-in um, shelving and cabinetry. Fireplace is gas. I got a nice big TV for LSU games. Crown molding. And then you have the kitchen. Cabinets are original. Um, countertop is newer. It's a quartz that they put on here. New sink. The um, LG refrigerator is newer. The GE Profile um, dual oven is probably original, as is the microwave. Um, and this range, I'm not sure if it is or not, but the good news is, is that because this range is on an exterior wall, you might be able to get gas routed to it rather easily. Cabinets are original. Um, they're thermofoil. Thermofoil was used for a hot minute in the early 2000s. Um, didn't become very popular and um, 
what a lot of people do is um, if you wanted to change out the cabinet face doors to something newer and more modern craftsman style, then uh, that'd be very easy to do. And here's a view of the island and the dishwasher. You have a seated bench here. So this would have originally had been a breakfast nook. And you can see because there's a little thing there for a light fixture above it. So when they remodeled this, they extended the, um, the kitchen counter to make a built-in um, eating area, which kind of made this breakfast nook obsolete. But there are there is storage in here, which is nice. like they got a little bit of a water stain here. I'm not sure where that's from. It's like right in the middle of nowhere. And you don't see anything near the dishwasher or the sink. Could have been a pet stain. So let's go out back. I have a swing chair. It's fastened from the top. It's got a fan. It's got a little outside fridge hanging lights and a grill and some foliage here and this goes back into the alleyway to the side and then on the other side looks like you got a maybe a fire pit or something hidden in there Two AC systems, one for up and one for down. Let's see if I can find out the age of those. Everything looks very well maintained on the exterior. Pavers may need to be pressure washed, but that's not a big deal. There is a gas hookup right here, in case you want a gas grill. I'm actually surprised they don't have a gas range, but it may have at one point in time, and for some reason they didn't want a gas range. And when they changed out the countertops, they put in that glass surface one there. Sometimes you can tell by looking back, but there's no way. Not with the drawers, I can't tell if there's anything back there or not. Actually, I can look on the back again and see if I see a gas plumb to where the ranges on the other side and I do not see one so it has never been plumbed for gas for the back for the uh, range so let's continue the tour here's again a view of the back door nice you got two living spaces one in the front one in the back and then we'll see what's behind door number two. Oh, I think we did already half bath okay let's go upstairs hardwood stairs now these are solid oak these treads on the landing are solid and of course this is a solid oak red oak um, treads with white risers so at the top is carpet and this looks like a an older berber and probably the original it needs to definitely be changed out you may want to consider putting wood up here and then we'll go ahead and enter the master this is a king suite more crown molding more speakers kind of a little bay window Then you have a double door entry to the master bath. And then you have a single French door that leads out to the balcony. This balcony is above the porch, front porch, no back porch, excuse me. And it overlooks the uh, community next door. That's Harbor Walk or Harbor Bay. Harbor Walk, I think. Harbor. And uh, 
Those are three-story ones. So this is nice. Windows are original. And they are single pane, which was customary for back then. Continuing on. You have travertine floors. Garden tub. Stand-up shower. See a little mildew on the bottom there. Doesn't seem to be anything serious. They changed the countertops here as well. And for some reason they put in the original light fixtures, or uh, plumbing fixtures. And that brass and chrome combination. Yuck. Water closet. Walk-in closet. Walk-in closet's got built-in shelving. Got someone here who's very organized. built-in uh, drawers as well. This is the uh, security controls, which is customary for them to be in a closet. And let's go ahead and move on. Back out in the main hallway, there's the stairs going back down. And you can see there's two other bedrooms. There's one here, and there's one here. And then this one is the laundry room. Very good size. Upper cabinets, utility sink. Yeah, this shows really well. And then bedroom two, decent size. It has an odd angle to it. It's not a perfect square. They use this as an office. You have a door going out to the front porch and you got some looks like built-in shelving here and some built-in shelving here so I would assume that if you were to make this a bedroom the bed would go here because it's the one wall that's large enough to fit a queen bed with an end table closet is small but you know it's they usually don't make closets this small, so I'm guessing that this was part of the closet as well. And for some reason, they decided they wanted to do this instead of making a full normal length closet. Jack and Jill bath. This is all original. Cultured marble, faucets, cabinets, all original. Tiles, all original. And this is not. Um, Actually, it very well might be. There's two different tones of tile. That would indicate that there may have been a shower pan leak and they had to break it up and uh, replace the shower pan, which is the only way you can do it. Um, but uh, looks like it's in good shape now. And this kind of transitions to bedroom three. This is actually a queen bed. Very good sized room. Does have more built-in shelving. And this one has a normal size closet. In fact, it's deep. It does have built-ins as well. Here we are moving around. And then this is the air handler. Let's see if I can find a year on this. 2014 for this unit. So we know one of the units has been replaced since the onset. So it's nine years old, which is maybe two-thirds of the way of its life. We'll head downstairs again. There's the master again. Any pending assessments? Not that they have them right now. Okay. No, but I can send the insurance. How much do they pay, do you know? Yeah. In uh, flood and homeowners insurance? Flood is 806. 806 a year? Yep. And homeowners is 4091. 4091 for homeowners. I don't know where the other air handler is. There's one down. I found the upstairs one. I couldn't find the downstairs one. It's not in there. That's interesting. 
Unless it's in the attic. It might actually, I think it's, um... Could it be in here? Oh yeah, I bet yeah. you it is. You see these two wires going in there. It's a very good possibility. Yeah. But I think you would hear it. Huh. Alright, well just a mystery that needs to be solved. Yeah. Alright, that's it. We're wrapping up. I'll upload this and send it to you.